In the middle of a dark, quiet room, filled only by the sounds of humming machines, a figure floats, suspended. She, Icy, has no memories, no past. Memories to her are not important. Her existence only serves one purpose, to kill Judas. That wicked devil, the bringer of the apocalypse. No matter how many difficulties or obstacles she will face, Icy understands that she must accomplish her mission. Destroy Judas. In the darkness, Icy awakes. Icy has left the laboratory. She understands that as long as she follows the arrow, she will discover where Judas is hiding. Oh, more soldiers sit by Judas to stop Icy. Kill them. Icy reaches a quiet hill, illuminated by light dancing off of the lake below. She is at peace. There seems to be a console that will activate the photon bridge. Icy moves to activate it. A disgusting swamp rests, unmoving, in front of Icy. She must carefully jump across.
Icy arrives in the moonlight forest. In front of her waits Daha. Wait, where's the bridge? Hmm, right, just keep following the arrow. Icy jumps down. It seems like this is an old sewer. This place is littered with wreckage. Icy feels that this place wasn't always a sewer. And who is to blame? Judas. Icy jumps down into a giant cavern. Icy follows the arrow through and passes through the gate. Icy senses that the key to her escape is somewhere in front of her. Icy discovers a special treasure chest. A strange mark flashes across her eyes. Icy's dash ability has grown stronger. She can probably even escape from this damned underground labyrinth. Icy decides to immediately return to
Although it's a sewer, this place seems as if it could be incredibly clean, if it weren't for the sewage. What could cleanse this place? Icy defeats Gorger and senses that the exit is just ahead. Icy arrives at an unnamed town. There is not a soul in sight. Icy searches around the house for a trace of someone, a mark of some presence. It seems as if everyone has been wiped out. The culprit? Most likely Judas. Icy decides to head deeper into town, not hesitating to follow the arrow. Icy ignores yet another arrow and selfishly continues on her own path. What Icy doesn't realize is that unless she defeats Thor in the village, 
Ultimopolis Gates will refuse her entry. Icy ignores the warehouse in the distance and continues to follow the arrow. As Icy defeats Thor, the gates to Ultimopolis slide open.
Icy enters the warehouse that is completely devoid of any living creature, just like the attic. Are you kidding me? Ugh, again? Can't you just follow the arrow at least once? I, oh, well, well, this level was never finished. Do you realize how much inconvenience I've suffered trying to make a successful game? A few flaws, a few bugs here and there. It's normal, like this place. I never finished applying the colors. Don't look at me like that. I know what you're thinking. In reality, it's really difficult to make a game, and it's very easy for problems like this to appear. Just, just wait a minute. I know you don't trust me. I'll just have to show you. Welcome to the archive room. All of my prototypes are stored here. When making a good game, fun gameplay is of utmost importance. I've been iterating on prototypes for over 10 years. Can you believe it? That's an entire decade. Here, let me show you my first prototype. This is a very early version of the game. You could change to a long range weapon so that you could use both melee and ranged attacks. But then I thought, who in their right mind would care for such an amazing weapon? No player would want it, not a single one. So, in the end, I completely abandoned this prototype. That brings us to the second version. In the second version, there was a sort of mix between the demonic enemies and the player. You could absorb the enemy's powers and use them for your own. But then I ran into a big problem. Cost. Don't you think it would be a waste to spend so much time on making such a complicated game? only to run out of cash halfway through development? After all, games do need to make money. So I cut this version as well. Unknowingly, 10 years flew by in the blink of an eye. With all the effort I spent, I think a few scattered bugs or missing features are entirely acceptable. I just want you to understand me and empathize with me. I sacrificed so much trying to make this a fun experience for you. I spent 10 years of my youth on this. Even if you're not entirely enjoying the experience, don't you think you could give the game a five star rating? Like this. Besides, Who's gonna dig this deep into a game? The visuals are stunning, buy it. The producer is famous, buy it. There are so many reviews, buy it. I thought that's all people considered when buying a new game. Like a machine spewing out cash. Do you really beat all the games you buy? Games are about entertainment. Don't place too much value on a few mishaps here and there. People will still buy the game even if the servers are bad. People will still buy the game if there are bugs. So, man, why not buy another? Icy has left the laboratory. She understands that as long as she follows the arrow, she will discover where Judas is hiding.
Oh, more soldiers sent by Judas to stop Icy. Kill them. Icy reaches a quiet hill, illuminated by light dancing off of the lake below. She is at peace. There seems to be a console that will activate the photon bridge. Icy moves to activate it. A disgusting swamp rests, unmoving, in front of Icy. She must carefully jump across. Icy arrives in the moonlight forest. In front of her waits Daha. Wait, where's the bridge? Hmm, right, just keep following the arrow. Whoa, what? How did you come in here? This... Something's wrong here. Icy arrives at an unnamed town. There is not a soul in sight. Icy searches around the house for a trace of someone. A mark of some presence. Icy decides to head deeper into town. Not hesitating to follow the arrow. Icy ignores the warehouse in the distance and continues to follow the air. Icy enters the warehouse that is completely devoid of any living creature, just like the attic.
As Icy defeats Thor, the gates to Ultimopolis slide open. Icy follows the arrow, getting closer to the main gates of Ultimopolis. What Icy must remember is that she must always follow the arrow, otherwise she will be lost. The gates to Ultimopolis are open. Icy is one step closer to Judas. Icy enters Ultimopolis, only to be greeted by an empty shell of a city that once flourished. Only the dilapidated buildings give some hint of Ultimopolis's past splendor, of what used to be, before Judas brought destruction.